Hello everyone, welcome back to Config Control System. Today we are going to discuss about Collaborative Robotics or COBOT. I will give you a brief discussion of what is a COBOT, what are its features, how does it work and where it is being used. Come let's get into this video. What is a cobot? Collaborative robot is a new pattern in industrial robotics where the humans and robots they share the same environment and collaborate at the same task. Cobots are now entering the market, hence all robot manufacturers have their own collaborative solution. Cobots are growing very fast, hence it is expected to be a breakthrough in the upcoming years. In symbol, cobots are designed to help the workers on their job instead of replacing them. Next is collaborative robotics is considered as one of the enabling technologies of industry 4.0 paradigm. So industry 4.0 it consists of data analytics, cyber security, cloud, industrial internet, horizontal vertical integration, simulation, augmented reality AI, additive manufacturing and advanced manufacturing solution. In advanced manufacturing solutions only the cobot is being used. Here machines and humans are expected to actively interface and work on the same workspace in the smart factory. Next we shall see the market of cobot. Collaborative robot market is expected to grow in the coming years because more and more business they see improvement of productivity, safety and efficiency in their workplace. So this is more important and the cobot will achieve a higher market. So according to the report of market and markets, cobot market size will reach 9.7 billion dollar by the end of 2025 with a compound annual growth rate of 41.8 percentage from 2020 to 2025. So within this five years there will be completely a drastical change in this cobot. Also, COVID-19 pandemic has also accelerated the adoption of collaborative robot because business seek social distancing protocols and need to minimize the risk of infection in the workplace. This cobalt can be used in healthcare centers in order to protect the patients and also it can be used in manufacturing and logistics in order to attain a contactless operations from the site. So this is a graphical representation that uh, shows the improvement of cobalt in the industries from 2018 to 2028. Next, why do we need cobalt? Since humans and robots are collaborating at the same task, protection fence is not required for cobot. So the cost is less and the reduced footprints is enough for this cobot installation. This is particularly very suitable for small and medium sized enterprises. Also, cobots are redundant and have dual arm manipulators characterized with low inertia and low payload. Hence, there is a less risk if in case a human and cobot are getting into impact. But still, we can get a precision with the help of this cobot. Also, it is best suitable for assembling the electronic parts. Cobots have new programming interfaces and the deployment time is very low for cobot. We can easily deploy the program on the cobot. Next we shall see the comparison of a collaborative assembly. This is a small comparison between manual labor, collaborative automation and hard automation. When compared to manual labor, the investment is very low, the flexibility is very high. We can do ask the manual labor to do whatever work that we require but the production will be very low when compared to other items. So when combined to hard automation, the investment is very high. 
but the production will be very high based on the investment it is uh, designed for a particular work but the flexibility is low since you cannot ask that machine to do another work you cannot define or you cannot make it to do another work when coming to collaborative automation it is really very flexible when compared to both manual and hard automation and investment is also not too high or not too low it is in the mid range we can get the required work done with the help of cobots next we shall see where to use this cobot so there are some activities or work that is done in the factories for example some will be low added values that is will be very cheap to automate and another will be high added value which will be very costly to automate so while installing a cobot we should choose the low added value place for a cobot and high added value for a manual labor so in situation we can get more efficient work with less cost so that will be giving a more potential output with the help of cobot next we shall see the patterns that is being evolving from the cobot one is the coexistence another one is the synchronization and final is the cooperation coexistence means both the cobot as well as the humans they work along each side but do not share the workspace but humans may sporadically access the workspace of the robot for example during loading unloading that time alone and next is synchronization in synchronization both the robot as well as the human they share a particular space of workspace uh, but that is not simultaneously they do not work simultaneously either the robot will be working or the human will be working at a time the final one is the cooperation here both the robot as well as the human they completely access the workspace simultaneously at the same time on a particular product so this uh, i will give you an example of this uh, three types of uh, pattern with the robot so this is a sporadic type of robot which is an examples of coexistence it will be sharing a limited workspace that is as i said before only during loading and unloading other time the robot will be working uh, independently next is sub frequent this is uh, this type of robots they will be uh, working with synchronization pattern with the human so it can work alternatively with the human as well as the robot final is the persistent type of robot so this is the best examples of that uh, cooperation so it will be working with the human continuously simultaneously at the same time so in assembling the parts of the certain uh, line you can use this type of cobots next we shall see what are the cobots being available in the market from 1960 to 2000 the industrial robots were separated from the human since it requires higher investment and higher programming skills in 2000 year only the word cobot enters the dictionary in 2005 universal robotics was uh, they launched the ur5 which is a really cheap and highly affordable cobot then came the rethink robotics in 2012 it was uh, founded and it launches the baxter next in 2013 cuco launches the lbr iiwa 2015 abb launches the umi and it acquires the gomtech finally 2016 our uh, indian standard organization iso it sets a standard for this cobot and the standard is ts15066 this is a safety standard for collaborative robot cobot and for industrial robotics the is standard was iso10218 and normally in all industrial uh, uh, missions for uh, machineries the iso standard is iso13849 and etc there are several other iso standards we shall see later the other iso standards for the cobot is collaborative operations and collaborative workspace so for operation the iso standard is this and it is for class 3.4 so in the iso standard the robot is designed to work in direct contact with the operator and for collaborative workspace uh, this green area is a workspace it is designed to work with simultaneously with the worker uh, in the same space now we are going to see the installation cost of cobot this cobot is does not require any physical protection devices this limited need of safeguarding devices allows smaller footprints hence cobot can be affordable 
in very low cost especially for small and medium sized enterprise when compared to the industrial robotics and this is a small comparison pie chart between normal industrial robot and cobot so see when comparing we'll seeing this the cost of the robot is same for both and but the equipment that we attach to the robot is 33 for industrial robot and it is only 20 for the cobot and the commissioning or the installation charge is 33 for industrial robot and it is only 20 percentage for the cobot so while comparing we can get clear that 27 percentage can be saved from the amount that we are investing on industrial robot when comparing to the cobot next we shall see the types of collaborative operation or in simple how does this cobot work there are four types of collaborative operation one is safety rated monitored stop so based on that the cobot will be stopping second one is hand guiding the third is speed and separation monitoring and the final one is pressure uh, for sorry power and force limiting by inherent design and control we shall see this four types one by one First, we shall see the safety rated monitor stop. This condition or this category is achieved by SOS category or STO category. So, SOS means it is a safe operating stop. It is done by drive will be in operation. The motor will provide the full torque to hold the current position of the robot, and the current position is will be monitored reliably. If it is not achieved by SOO, SOS, it will be achieved by SKO. That is. safe torque off that is means the power supply to the drive will be cut off hence there will be no torque produced and the robot will not be moving anywhere so the standstill position will be achieved and it is used for loading as well as unloading and for example if an operator entering this workspace then initially this robot will be in a standstill position so these are the iso standard that are used to achieve this category the second category is the hand guiding this is achieved by the control post to end effector emergency stop enabling devices and input means for motion commands and these uh, hand guiding pattern is used for lift assist and load positioning so this has a high risk reduction because it provides the worker with the direct control to the robot motions at all times in the collaborative workspace and these are the iso standard that is being used for the hand guiding category the third category is the speed and separation monitoring and this category is achieved by supervising the distance as well as the speed the distance must be greater than the minimum distance that has been assigned between the human as well as the robot so protective stop will occur if the minimum speed or distance is being violated and most commonly this type of uh, category is used in common area where the both human as well as the robot are working on separate tasks so these are the iso stand that are being used to uh, develop this category and the main risk reduction factor in this category is maintaining sufficient distance between the worker as well as the robot so this will be very helpful in this type of category next is the power and force limiting category in this category the limitation of mechanical loading of a human body part is eliminated rather the moving parts of the robot is used or the end effector or the work piece of this robot is used for the loading and unloading purposes and this is achieved by low inertia suitable geometry sensory inputs control functions etc mainly this is used in a mixed environment uh, for example there will be an option for pick and place loading uh, checking inspecting and process in situation you can choose this power and force limiting category uh, cobot so these are the iso standard that is being used for then generating this category and various brand uh, cobots are being displayed for this power and force limiting category next we shall see about collaborative grippers it's not just the robot that has to be collaborative the grippers the grippers that has to be designed safely so that the human robot collaboration has to be achieved so this is the grippers that is connected to the end effector piece of the robot and robot arm and this grippers will be designed based on the application of the customer okay i'm sure you're clear with this video about what is a cobot what are its features how does it work where do we implement this cobot if you are having any doubts feel free to contact us back 
Our team Confia Control System is always ready and willing to provide you a cobot solution for your application. Thank you for watching this video. We will be meeting soon in yet another video. Have a nice day.